Okay, gentlemen, today I will show you how to release a V in shot. V in line shot. So, first I will keep the red probe in the ground. Okay, first I am keeping the red probe at the ground. And uh, I am looking at any of the drain MOSFET. See, this is a coil. This is a coil. You have two coils. Okay, out of these two coils, uh, I have two MOSFETs. One MOSFET drain, you can see it is showing zero. Okay, that means drain of the upper MOSFET. See, and another MOSFET source, it is also showing zero. That means in my line, V in line is short. I let me check with the capacitor. This is also showing short. This is also showing short. That means this is my V in line. If I am getting completely zero zero, if I am getting complete zero zero, that means it is ground. If I am getting zero zero one, that means it is a short. It proves that my V in line is short. That means every capacitor will show short to me. Every capacitor. So coming to the point, this is my V in point. Who? This current limiting register, as I told you, this is my V in point, current limiting register. This CLR. Correct? Current so I will check with the CLR. See, CLR is also showing short. That means my complete V in line is showing short. Unless and until I don't release the V in, my first V in MOSFET will not get power on. That gate is controlled by charger IC. What I will do? Let me fix one uh, supply. See, this wire is connected to my DC. Okay, this line is nothing but your V in point. This line is connected. This is the source of the MOSFET. Okay, this is connected to your current limiting register. Current limiting register, I don't have space. That's why I have connected here. Now I have connected this to your DC power supply. You can see, you can see the red probe. I have connected here, red probe to the positive. Done. Now I am putting some flux. I am putting some flux to all the sections wherever I have a doubt. I am putting some flux here. Where I have some doubt, I am putting some flux. Little bit flux is also more than enough. Next time I will come to the back side. I am putting some flux here. The left out flux is more than enough. Now what I will do? You can see here, I am taking a ground. This ground wire is connected to the DC power supply. See here, this ground wire, you can see this ground wire is connected to my DC power supply. Okay. So I have taken ground here. See carefully brothers. I have taken ground here. See carefully. I am connecting this ground here. Are you seeing the smoke? You did not see the smoke. So I saw a smoke now, just now. Let me show where the smoke came. I am fixing it back. I am connecting it. Are you seeing the smoke? Yes. So that means that capacitor is gone. Now let me remove this capacitor. How to remove? First switch off the DC power supply. Keep a base here. Okay. And take a good tweezer. Already have put the flux. Keep the blower in left hand. Just remove it. Now I have removed it. Let us check whether again I have any shorting here. Okay. Let me take the DC supply. Connect the ground. But you can see the ampere is getting up to up to 10. Now the shot is gone. Okay brothers. 
remove it let me remove the soldering here fix it back I had done isolation also here I am fixing back the isolation let me check with the multimeter my V in shot ok keep the red probe in ground you check here I am keeping at current limiting ratio it is showing value 426, 427, 429, 430 that means it is ok let me check the source of the V in line yes it is ok V in MOSFET next check the capacitors it is showing value that means now the board V in short has been released. Thank you for watching. Join my online class.